and a rare glimpse of life at GCHQ as the National Spy Agency's Christmas Challenge encourages young people to try a career in cybersecurity. Now, GCHQ, the UK's intelligence and security agency, has released its annual festive brain teaser. It is a Christmas card with a challenge to decode the names of UK landmarks, which future spies should be able to solve. Our reporter Graham Satchel has been given special access to one of the UK's most secret buildings. It's one of the most secret buildings in the world. To get in, you need to go through airport-style security, which we weren't allowed to film, and you have to hand your phone in, which we were. Do you think of yourself as a spy? <laughs> well, people describe what they do here in a whole host of ways, and some people do use that term. Shazad Charania is head of legal affairs. He's one of the very few people here whose face we can show. Can I start at the very beginning? What, what is GCHQ and what does it do? So GCHQ is the UK's intelligence, security and cyber agency. And it's one of three intelligence agencies, sits alongside MI5 and MI6. And so we intercept uh, communication signals, analyse those, and keep the UK safe from threats, uh, whether they emanate from terrorists, uh, individuals, or hostile states. There are more than 6,000 people here, analysts, linguists, technicians, intercepting and interpreting communications. At the heart of the building is the EMC, the Event Management Centre. So when we watch spooks and slow horses, and they always have that room with screens and people at laptops and frantic conversations. You're in charge of that room? Yes. This is that room, yes. Sarah, not her real name, is a senior operations officer. We can't show her face and her words are spoken by our producer. I lead a team of amazing but ultimately ordinary people doing some fairly extraordinary things. So say there's a terror attack, are you immediately involved and, and if you are, what do you do? Yes, we are involved from the beginning and we will be tracking that very closely, both through what we call open source, which is sort of media sources, and we're also kind of taking a look at our data sources that we have available in the building, which some of them are covert and some of them are shared by partners. And through that, we can try and do as much as we possibly can in those first few hours to mitigate the threat to life. So just to break that down a tiny bit, you say um, data sources, some of which may be covert. What does that mean? I don't think I can go into detail on that. But in 2013, former American intelligence contractor Edward Snowden did go into detail. He leaked some of GCHQ's methods, including the harvesting of communication data from millions and millions of people. It's called bulk data access. Can you hack my phone, my emails and my internet user history? So bulk data access is something that GCHQ does and is very open about it. Uh, it's governed by our legal frameworks. It's been considered by the European Court of Human Rights as well as our own domestic courts as being lawful. What that means is we cannot, even when acquiring bulk data, inspect it for any purpose other than national security and keeping the UK safe. Amid all the high pressure saving the world stuff, staff here are also allowed a bit of fun. I can't be the only one who hears you. This video of spies being ghosts was posted on social media at Halloween. GCHQ prides itself on attracting neurodiverse staff, and it is this mingling of brilliant minds that can bring the best results. The mingling often happens on the main walkway that runs around the building. GCHQ is a massive circle. Here they call it the donut, and you can walk all the way around it on this, they call it the street. But for a secret agency, there are some surprising things here, like Costa Coffee. There's even a Greg's. Where I decided to buy some Min Spies. See what I did there? 
For all the attempts at normality, this is not a normal place. And the people here are not doing normal jobs. Do you think you're winning? If I knew what you knew about the world, would I be more or less worried? I think we're living in an extraordinary complex and scary time and I think things are changing but I couldn't tell you whether we are winning as such. I think it's a very interesting time and it will be very interesting over the next few years as we go forward. Yeah.